Hey folks, how we doing today? Me again, Shannon Fox here, the Voted Patriots 2 channel, and I've got a couple of great clips for you and a little bit of information. First off, I want to talk about Trump. Uh, we, for about a week now, the left-wing media have been spouting off that Trump can't get the money for his $454 million bond. Well, the fact of the matter is, is Trump wasn't trying to put the money up. He was trying to find different methods to go about it, including publicizing it to the world, letting the world know that this is a ridiculous amount of money. The longer Trump holds out on paying this money, uh, the more uh, of a villain the uh, Letitia James and uh, the judge looks behind this situation. Uh, so Trump is actually handling this best way possible. Uh, Trump says, at this point, don't worry, I've got the $500 million. I just didn't want to spend it if I didn't have to, had other plans with it. Matter of fact, Trump is worth about $2.8 billion. billion dollars. Uh, at this point in his property value assets alone, but he has got a rabbit under his hat. He said he's going to sell approximately 40% of Truth Social, meaning he'll put it on public, uh, for, for the public to have option to uh, buy stock options in it. It'll be on the, uh, the NASDAQ or uh, stock market, stock exchange, which will instantly give Trump the opportunity to make about $3 billion off of that uh, sale, open market sale of 40% of Truth Social. So don't you count Trump out, folks, no matter what. This man is going to make it work. Remember, he is the art of the deal. He is the best mover and shaker businessman this country has ever seen as far as uh, being able to handle things, uh, whether it be monstrous international deals or uh, just running our country in the right direction. Uh, we know what Trump's like, and we know that Money is not his problem. Now, I do like the way the media spun this all week. That Trump was broke, 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 broke. And then come to find out, Trump had the money. He was just trying to uh, let things play out um, for media coverage sake. That's what I have to believe. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and get into some news. They said tomorrow is Trump's deadline. Now, if she, uh, Miss Letitia James tries to seize any of his properties, uh, they said that is going to be more convoluted and more um, of a problem than she realizes, considering Trump doesn't own 100% of all of his properties. There's investors and uh, mortgages and things involved, so not going to be easy pickings like that. I don't believe it'll go down that way. We will see. We'll know more by tomorrow, and I'll keep you apprised about this time tomorrow, if not a little later. But things are changing, folks. The tides are turning. Even though Joe Biden is sliding these illegals in, in the middle of the night, probably getting them registered to vote in every state. They drop them in through these NGOs, passing them around the country, giving them credit cards, and uh, setting them up to be future voters, even though all this is going on. I still don't believe it's going to be enough to make a difference in this election. Joe Biden is going to lose by massive numbers. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we're talking about Michigan, Wisconsin. we got some states up north that have uh, Muslim communities that are going to make the difference in Joe Biden losing those swing states, and that's good news. Uh, now, Bill Maher, who is a lefty liberal, just like Joe Rogan used to be, just like Elon Musk used to be, and so many of Hollywood's uh, actors are now all coming out, and, and even some rappers and some uh, entertainers as well, are all starting to come out and just tell the truth. Trump's going to win. <clears throat> Democrats are trying to prop up hate and division in the country, and that's not going to work for them. Uh, the people of all nationalities are tired of being lied to by the Democrat Party, and the poll numbers are starting to affect the Biden administration. They're starting to affect the, uh, or starting to show the writing on the wall. What I'm talking about is, is one or two polls doesn't actually mean a hill of beans about anything. They could be skewed due to a dozen different possible things, but truth be known, when all the polls out show the same results, no matter where you're taking them, uh, what demographic of people, they're all showing approximately the same numbers, the polls are accurate. That's what, I, that's what I have to believe, or they're pretty close to accurate, just as a consensus. But um, Bill Maher is explaining why, and uh, I'm just glad to see another lefty out there that has a lot of lefty listeners is explaining to Joe's voter base, why he probably won't vote for him either, and uh, why the Democratic Party 
is uh, bleeding voters as, as we speak. All right, here we go. Outdated racial pandering is one reason Democrats lose elections. When Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi put on Kenta cloth, I don't think it earned them one vote for their powerful emotional ties to Ghana. Raven Simone agrees. She told Oprah, I'm tired of being labeled. I'm not an African-American. I'm an American. That's right. She... That's right. She says, I don't know what country in Africa I'm from. My roots are in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to agree with that. But it's a point of view a lot of people have. Today's Democrats should move on from identity politics. It's not working. It's not working for them or for us. Democrats are hemorrhaging the very voters they think they're pandering to. The Financial Times writes, Democrats are going backwards faster with voters of color than any other demographic, and suggests the reason is that a less racially divided America is an America where people vote more based on their beliefs than their identity. Exactly. Look, we're all jelly roll now. <laughs> We're sloppy, complicated, and contradictory. Look, you're still building your politics around slicing and dicing people into these fixed categories. Democrats need to get the memo that you can't win elections anymore by automatically assuming you're going to get every voter who's not these guys. <laughs> The more you True. obsess over identity, the more you ignore the bread and butter issues that win and lose elections. That is actually a very good point, ignoring the bread and butter issues. Because you know, that is a really good point, folks. The uh, fact of the matter is Biden is losing, not just because he fumbles and he bumbles, uh, and he's not a very likable guy, and he lies, and the media covers for him, and they weaponize the government. All those things, and the border is open. But all those things combined are only a fraction of the problem. They're all chipping away at his vote. The problem is policy. Biden has got not one good policy that anybody, not even the Democrats, can stand behind. They've got their abortion issue policy. They've got their open border policy. They've got their weak uh, on the international stage policy. They've got their... Let's help the migrants more than our own people policy. They've got a let's uh, diversify our military policy. And they've got our let's destroy the economy policy. They've got our let's stop uh, drilling our own natural resources policy. It's policies, folks. That is the, right, the reason why Joe Biden will lose this election, even with all the scandalous crap they do, including trying to expand their voter base with every Paco, uh, Juan, and Jose that steps across the border. And that's just a fact, folks. Uh, that's why everybody's got to go vote. Everybody's got to show up. Even take your grandma, take your friends, take your 18-year-old nieces and nephews. Get everybody registered to vote that you know. Encourage them one way or another. Offer to give them a ride if that's what it takes. Go the extra step. That's I'm, I'm doing that myself. And my job, just putting a bug in people's ear, you know, elections are coming up. You may support Trump. You may not like Biden. But if you don't go vote, you don't, you don't get to complain about it. And you're not doing your civic duty. And I tell people this every single day at my job. That is one of the main reasons I do this channel, to encourage people to get out, get motivated, get activated, get out the vote. And if there was ever a time in human history that we need to do more, it's now. Uh, we got less than eight months to uh, get it together, and uh, that is the absolute fact. It is time to get with your local RNC if you have the time, and see what you can do to help um, with this whole process of uh, preventing the the shenanigans and helping with the legal ballot harvesting, getting your friends registered to vote. Offering rides, whatever it takes. Um, being a poll watcher, there's a dozen things you can do to help your community um, stay red. Uh, and I do encourage everybody, uh, if I worked a little less hours, I would probably uh, be trying to do more. But it is what it is. But at least I can 
get out the message that we all need to do our part. Uh, all right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and jump into another clip real quick. This is good stuff, too. Uh, we definitely have got the left doing a little bit of panning, panicking. And at the end of the video clip, there is a guy named, uh, there's a guy that has a channel named uh, Dan, Go Dan Gorman. Uh, he's a comedian, a uh, very great, cha uh, very awesome channel over on Rumble, and his channel's name is Intellectual Frog Legs, and I'll play you a little short clip of his 30-minute uh, put together, uh, just because I don't want to get copyright issues, and I'm not trying to take his his uh, his stuff, but I do want to share his stuff and leave y'all a link in the description below, uh, just because you will uh, be impressed for the time, effort, and uh, creativity this guy put into this uh, latest episode called Orange Crush of Intellectual Frog Legs. You will not be disappointed, folks. It is nothing but good stuff. I'll, we'll play a little bit of it together here at the end of the clip. But let's go ahead and get into uh, another panicking situation. I'm talking about CNN. CNN is aware of what's going on in Michigan and Wisconsin and these states that have massive uh, Muslim communities. As a matter of fact, without the Muslim vote, uh, there's there's no way Biden can win Michigan. And over what has happened in Israel, and with Israel and Gaza, the Biden administration is trying to figure out how they can clean up this mess on our land. So what we've got now is Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer screaming that they need election uh, elections to be held to basically overthrow Netanyahu or take Netanyahu out of office. In attempt to appease the voter base, uh, that is their, I guess, plan B is to deal with the damage control of the mess. But it's not going to work. Netanyahu's giving them double barrel middle finger. But this is, they know it's not going to do any good to try to throw this out out there. Chuck Schumer trying to tell a world leader what to do. You're just, a, uh, you're just a politician here in America. You're just another peon with a big mouth, Chuck Schumer. Sorry to let you know, but it's just the facts. But CNN knows this too, uh, knows why all of this is going on. And this clip here really kind of uh, sets this facts uh, into a clear perspective as far as I'm concerned as to why uh, the Biden administration is not just panicking over the black vote and the Latino vote. They're panicking over the Muslim vote as well. And it showed in the um, primaries as to just what's happening uh, with this uh other vote they did what was a no committal vote that's the same word democrats but we're not voting for joe here we go folks check this out yeah and let's just dig into some of the issues that could turn uh this race looking ahead in these two states uh, first of all on abortion and democracy these are the two issues where biden has an advantage the only two issues where biden has an advantage in in both states then you look at other issues, U.S. and world affairs, economy, immigration, Israel, Gaza. Trump has an advantage. Uh, and it's actually, if you look at the Israel-Gaza question, the fact that Trump has a 20-point advantage in Michigan, I mean, the world is Dang. upside down. I, but I think that finding probably explains a lot of Joe Biden's troubles in Michigan right now as yeah. well. I mean, it's obviously but, uh, an issue that we saw in the primary where the uncommitted vote against him. We see young voters, independents, um, people who have been affiliated with this uh, calling for a ceasefire movement, um, very frustrated with the president and his policies. And so that's clearly partly at play here in Michigan. Yeah, yeah no question. Um, but it's hard to imagine that Donald Trump will be uh, any more sympathetic to what's going on in Gaza than Joe Biden is, which the, is what is so surprising. About has nothing to do with their actual policy right, positions, right, right exactly. necessarily, or exactly. what he's proposing. And I just want to say... All right, folks, I got one more clip for you. This here, a uh, little bit comical, a little bit sad, a little bit of uh, what's really going on, on in the world. I'm talking about... Uh, Joe Dan Gorman, Intellectual Frog Legs. Um, he's at it again. I watch uh, these videos when he brings them out here on the Gateway Pundit. He's mostly on Rumble. Uh, this stuff is not YouTube appropriate. I will let you know. Just some. Of, I put up one of his videos before and got a copyright strike behind it. And they took down the video as well. I guess they don't like his videos here on YouTube. 
that's why I'm encouraging y'all to check out the link in the uh, in the description below to this article go right on down here and put you right into the full about 30 minute long video so Joe Dan Gorman from Intellectual Prog Leg Frog Legs has published his latest masterpiece this week, Orange Crush. His latest comedic brilliance, Joe Dan Gorman, includes his historic warning that totalitarians have obscured the real meaning of our principles and our government. This is another brilliant production by the great Joe Dan Gorman. And here we go. He bought full-page ads in three East Coast newspapers today stating his views on foreign policy, and these ads will win him a following. In the ads, he says, there's nothing wrong with American foreign policy that little backbone won't cure. And he says, we have no business spending ourselves broke in the Middle East, protecting ships that are not ours, and oil that we don't need. Rumblings in the Trump camp point as far as the presidency. Somebody has to help this country, and if they don't, the country and the world are in big trouble. Because within a short period of time, as sure as we're sitting here, there's not going to be a country and there's not going to be a world. I have no intention of running for president, and if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally. The end of the public wheel. He knew that unlimited political power cannot safely be entrusted to the nation's elected representatives to use as a majority of them see fit because, he said, a majority of a group of men is far more likely to be tyrannical than one man is. It is Barack Obama who corrupts the Justice Department. It is Hillary Clinton who routinely breaks the law and gets away with it. And now we have Joe Biden who's learned. He's learned from Obama that doesn't matter what you do, if you're a liberal Democrat, you will not be prosecuted. He learned from Hillary that a person in high public office can get millions and millions of dollars. And they learned from watching Donald Trump that a true outsider willing to take on the entire system could destroy their entire machine. So what you're seeing across the country is a desperate last ditch effort by a corrupt machine. You say you want a revolution. All right, that's enough, folks. They do a lot of uh, musical takes in this whole process that uh, get you the copyright strikes. So that's all I can do for you here, folks. Um, like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to watch this whole clip, folks, it's right here on the Gateway Pundit. Link in the description down below to the article. Go to the bottom of the article. Hit the play button, and you're in business. 33 minutes long, folks. Really good stuff. I haven't actually watched the full clip yet, but I watched about 10 15 minutes of it. Another great one by Joe Dan Gorman. Everybody have a great day. Uh, see you tomorrow here, same time, same place. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, hit and uh, hit the notification bell to make sure you get all my videos. You can always go check that because at times YouTube tends to not put the videos out, they throttle everybody's channel that has anything good to say here on the internet. Especially here on YouTube, especially if you're speaking conservative truths. Alright folks, everybody, over and out. Have a great one.